live from Philadelphia. Said to be a city of firsts. And the first time I saw a spinal cord wrapped around a goalpost was right here at Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The San Francisco 49ers take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Have won the skull flip kickoff. They want to kick them in the nuts right out of the gate. Hi, this is Grim Blitzrow, and welcome to the Mutant Football League. We'll be right back for kickoff, but first, let's listen in on the pregame speech. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. It's time for the opening kickoff. And a good thing, too, because this crowd is restless, bloodthirsty, and ready to take it out on us here in the booth. I am legitimately terrified. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Up for six yards. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And that'll be second down and four. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! And it's first and ten. it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll... You never know if it's a regular audible or if they're going to call a dirty trick. He got rid of it out of bounds. That's better than throwing a pick, I suppose. Typical quarterback, caught an audible because he thinks he's so much smarter than his coach. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's a little early to burn a timeout, but that's what they're doing here. And a QB keeps the defense guessing by calling an audible at the line. And he'll throw that one out of bounds. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. Second down and ten. The quarterback misses your brain and loses your brain on berserker drugs. And bad as that guy's brain gets called for the first down. And it's 
First and ten. Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Second down and seven. point but you never know with kickers <laughs> it's good I think I my card. the teams are lined up for the kickoff and that's a returnable ball returnable you mean he can get a refund for it no no bricks it means he can return it for you know what never mind First and ten. It's hard for the D to call an audible before the offense snaps the ball. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. When the defense calls thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches? First and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Roid Rage brings out the worst in anyone. It's a touchdown! And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick. The two point plays are high risk, high reward. And it just didn't pay off. And not a ball screw. And stupid. See that boo, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. The defense just called an audible. He took a beat. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hand. Sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's the quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. First and ten. I want to. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to fight them in the ass. I want to. I want to. That ball was almost intercepted. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up off. The defense calls an audible. Two yards. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Glenn, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? Oh, sure, now. He catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I know some and that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant relentless advance? What? If only it was as easy as telling them time out to stop our own clock. You know, Grim? We're, we're the kick is good. Yeah, as expected. Those are pretty. Well, 
Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. I one, I two. And the ref somehow escapes the onslaught. Here comes the penalty. Yeah. First down and forever. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Oh, with the brutal hit! And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some drive And it's the end. He gets a kill ref with no penalty. He picks up ammo and keeps on shooting like Keanu Reeves. I like Keanu's new look with the beard. Just in time. like an Easter egg hunt only with zombies. He got one. Ten seconds remain. Come on, we believe in you. Ah, speak for yourself. Back in the game. Don't screw it up, you idiot. Crush it and win the resurrection dirty trick. That could be a difference maker. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. We'll find out in a second. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Eh, not a ball's feelings are hurt. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? Second down and ten. <laughs> that, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. into their two minutes. You never know if it's a regular audible or if they're going to call a dirty trick. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And now the quarterback calls an audible. Wow. Looks like he actually didn't fall asleep in the film room this week. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. He doesn't like what he sees, so he's calling an audible. He had it for a second there. a run for no gain then it's not really a run is it i want sean kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg he used it like a golf club that wasn't a leg and it's good you know Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered it's good to be good huh i mean can we all just not this shit again Rex. i'm stopping it right there First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. The punter is warming up. Hot one. Hot. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Hot. He runs it for three. Oh, 
Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. When the defense calls an audible, you'll know they got him for someone. Wow, he took like a thousand points of shot there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden the Ant Smiler. Did the shot treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So yeah, I guess it worked for her. First and ten. The defense just called an audible, and the QB is praying it's not a dirty trick. Second down in a very lot. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third down and long. It's hard for the D to call an audible before the offense snaps the ball. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to... Oh, what a brutal hit! And that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. It's do or die now. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Interception, and that's how you stop an offense. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because the ball razor through the defense, cutting into better and head. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Yo, seriously, man, you think you'd go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Second down and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps on sides and attacks the QB. Well, they tried to catch him, but he got away. That's a wasted, dirty trick and one fast son of a QB. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball. And that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Uh, it's cop with Roid Rage. How do you like your brains? Scrambled or fried? One right range breakfast, and he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. It's a punishing hit. Now these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls, and by talk I mean stomp them into the ground. And it's first and ten. Defense has enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Yeah. And it's first and ten. He doesn't like what he sees, so he's calling an audible. Yes. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense is like 30 balls over there on the sideline. Just wait. The QB keeps the defense guessing by calling an audible at the line. 
that's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum. And, and no more timeouts. The D needs to stop. This is intense. No, Grim. Camping is intense. <laughs> Get it? Idiot. into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, he can the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it Scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Damn, I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. If you touch what I ball, I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.